leftist anthropologists, academics, and science media celebrities vehemently deny human variation. The woke activists pressure students and other young people to ignore evidence of race realism, even if it is staring them right in the eye. Quote, Human subspecies don't exist. Unlike many animals, modern humans simply haven't been around long enough or isolated enough to evolve into separate subspecies or races. Despite surface appearances, we are one of the most similar of all species. End quote. Narrator, PBS Series 2003. Quote, Human DNA is too similar to split us into subspecies or into races. We can't use biology to sort people into groups like we can with other animals. End quote. Aliyah Hoff, biology professor, Arizona State University. And yet, physical differences exist. The extreme morphological varieties among the races are in most cases glaringly obvious. The world changed in 2010 when geneticist Fonte Pebo and his team confirmed Neanderthal DNA in the Eurasian genome. And then a year later, Pebo's assistant, Johannes Krauss, discovered Denisovan DNA. We now know that there is enormous variation in the modern human genome due to this archaic common DNA admixture. These archaics include the Neanderthals, Denisovans, Australopithecines, Homo erectus, and possibly even Homo naledi. In this video, we are going to introduce you to modern humans who represent extreme variation in our species. Some of the material may even shock you. First, a brief definition. What is a hybrid? Biology.com In reproductive biology, a hybrid is an offspring produced from a cross between parents of different species or subspecies. An example of an animal hybrid is a mule. From National Geographic, Ligers, Zorses, and Pisleys, animal hybrids happen. Interbreeding between animals of different lineages is widespread in nature and may reveal some of the mysteries of evolution. Many tribes with some of the most extreme examples of phenotypic human variation in our species went extinct or nearly extinct in the last 200 years. Two of the most famous examples were around in Charles Darwin's day, the Tasmanian Aboriginal Australians and the Fugians from South America. Darwin, Tierra del Fuego, Coastal Chile, quote, Viewing such men, one can hardly make oneself believe they are fellow creatures and inhabitants of the same world. At night, five or six human beings, naked and scarcely protected from the wind and rain, sleep on the wet ground coiled up like animals. End quote. From Vintage News, Truganini. The Aborigines of Tasmania were a short people, skin colored from black to reddish brown, and tightly curled hair. They had arrived 35,000 years earlier by land bridge between Tasmania and Australia and became isolated for at least 10,000 years. From the BBC, 2003, the Ainu have long been of interest to anthropologists because of their cultural, linguistic, and physical identity. They were the earliest settlers of Hokkaido. Only a few isolated neighborhood pockets of Ainu people remain scattered across Hokkaido. From Survival International 2010, Boa Sr., who died last week aged around 85, was the last speaker of Bo, one of the 10 great Andaman Island languages. The Bo are thought to have lived in the islands for as much as 65,000 years, descendants of one of the oldest human cultures on Earth. In 2021, Johannes Krauss, co-discoverer of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA, published a paper in Nature titled, A Genome Sequence from a Modern Human Skull 
over 45,000 years old from Zlaty Kun in Czechia. According to the paper, the Zlaty Kun woman from Czechia, her people carried 2 to 3% Neanderthal ancestry in their genomes, originating from admixture with Neanderthals that took place sometime between 50,000 and 60,000 years ago. Additionally, a human skull discovered in Romania, Oase 1, dated 40,000 years ago, carried more Neanderthal ancestry, 6 to 9 percent, than other modern human genomes sequenced to date, owing to admixture with Neanderthals. In 2015, an archaeological team uncovered human fossils and stone tools dated to 45,000 years ago at the cave in Bulgaria. According to the Smithsonian, the Baco Kiro, individuals carried 3 to 3.8 percent Neanderthal DNA. Quote, the Baco Kiro cave individuals provide further evidence that the admixture with Neanderthals must have been common when they had a chance to meet, since all of them had Neanderthal ancestors very recently in their family histories. End quote. Matea Hajinja, PhD, Smithsonian Magazine, 2021. From Metafilter, 2012, Otzi the Iceman died around 3,300 B.C., his body preserved frozen in the Alps until 1991. DNA sequencing of Neanderthals 35,000 years ago suggests modern humans with ancestry outside of Africa carry Neanderthal genes due to interbreeding. According to University of Wisconsin professor John Hawkes, quote, if we took as a baseline that Europeans have an average of 3.5% Neanderthal, Otzi the Iceman would have around 5.5%. He has substantially greater sharing with Neanderthals than any other recent person we have ever examined. End quote. Number one, Otzi the Iceman, Austria, 5.5% Neanderthal. Number two, Bako Kiro, Bulgaria, 3.8% Neanderthal. Number three, Slati Kun, Czechia, 3% Neanderthal. Number four, Owase Uno, Romania, 6 to 9% Neanderthal. The evidence is clear. Ancestors of modern Europeans were Homo sapien Neanderthal hybrids. Christian Volk Vegeberg, PhD, is an archaeologist from the University of Illinois, Chicago. In 2014, she wrote at MassLive.com that her DNA test came back 4% Neanderthal. Quote, My brothers and I often joked about our physical anomalies while growing up. We have large rib cages and shoulders, wide nostrils, and can handle brutal cold temperatures. End quote. In 2012, geneticist Spencer Wells was delivering a speech at UCSD. He beckoned Wall Street Journal journalist James Fallows on the stage. He administered an on-the-spot DNA test. Fallows scored 5% Neanderthal. As Fallows has relayed, the audience, especially his wife, was shocked. Matt is a woodworker and guitar fabricator on Canada's northeast coast. He has taken multiple DNA tests and has scored between 4 to 8% Neanderthal. Says Matt, quote, we still exist, we are not extinct, end quote. Matt from TikTok, quote, some people alive today have the Neanderthal type skull. I have the eye bridges, my forehead slopes backwards, my face is very long, I have the bump in the back of my skull. That's why a lot of us look the way we do, the caveman genes, end quote. In 2012, researchers at Arizona State University ran genetics tests on Y chromosomes of 6,000 African males. According to the new scientists, 11 men, all living in one village in Cameroon, had highly unusual genetic markers. From the Nigerian site called Iwu Eluru, the fossil showed a strange mix of ancient and modern features. Hunter-gatherers from Cameroon Within these genomes, they found stretches of DNA that appear to come from another hominid species. Picture, 
seven of the 11 Cameroon villagers with inexplicable archaic DNA admixture. Dr. Michael Hammer, who led the research, is quoted, the Cameroon village with an unusual genetic signature is right on the border with Nigeria and Iwo Eluru is not too far away. In South Africa, some tribal members have facial features strikingly similar to Homo naledi. These include flared zygomatic cheekbones. The archaic hominid lived from 320,000 to 210,000 years ago, contemporary with early modern humans. Regular viewers of this channel are aware that in 2019, a genetics team at UCLA led by Sriram Sankararaman found up to 19% ghost species archaic hominid DNA admixture in Africans. There is renewed speculation that the ghost may be Homo naledi. The Central African jungle tribes are still a mystery to anthropologists. Biologist Claire Jordan of the University of Edinburgh Quora 2022, quote, Afro-pygmies are the only human groups whose characteristics are distinct and sharp edge enough that they might possibly qualify them as a subspecies, end quote. Moody Baston, 1990, research paper, The Evolution of Latent Genes in Subdivided Populations. We define latent genes as phenotypically silent DNA sequences, which may be reactivated by various genetic mechanisms. From Nova, PBS 2006, family in Turkey that walks on all fours. Is this the anthropological find of the millennium? They were first discovered in 2005 by scientist Unur Tan, who created a sensation in the popular press by characterizing the handwalkers as, quote, genetic throwbacks, end quote. Scientists at Liverpool University realize they are different from humans and more like monkeys. Professor Nicholas Humphrey, evolutionary psychologist, London School of Economics, CBS 60 Minutes, quote, I never expected that even under the most extraordinary scientific fantasy that modern human beings could return to an animal state. This has returned them to a primitive stage, end quote. The BBC did a documentary in Indonesia in 2011 on the mystery of the human hobbits. The Ramamasas villagers were measured for cranium size and height. A local anthropologist declared at least some of them direct ancestors of Homo floresiensis. From survivalinternational.org, the tribes of the Andaman Islands, the Jarawa, Great Andamanese, Angi, and Sentinelese are believed to have lived in their Indian Ocean home for up to 55,000 years. Geneticist Spencer Wells on the Andaman Islanders, in Saitome, 2017, quote, Another species? I'd be surprised at this point to see a DNA mapping result that would completely turn everything on its head. I mean, maybe the Sentinelese, end quote. The Eta Magbukan, a tribe from an isolated island in the northern Philippines, was recently found to have 7.8% archaic DNA from a mysterious third subspecies of Denisovans. According to the New York Daily News, July 2020, a new study has found genetic proof that indigenous peoples from South America encountered Polynesians as early as 1200 AD, hundreds of years before Europeans made it across the ocean. He was originally labeled the Brazil Homo erectus man. Now new genetics research suggests the man discovered in a small village in Tocantins province may actually have Denisovan DNA from ancestral admixture with ancient Polynesians. South Carolina has a native African population on isolated coastal islands, the Gullah Geechee. The Gullah were a rice growing people brought over from West Africa as slaves in the early 1800s. They have a direct genetic lineage to Cameroon. According to Roots and Recombination Project 2014, Y-DNA haplogroup A OO is the most basal Y-chromosome DNA haplogroup discovered 
in an African-American male from South Carolina. Leftist anthropology influencers attack race realists every day all over social media. Erica at Guts a Gibbon makes videos calling conservatives racist for discussing DNA admixture. Princeton professor Augustine Fuentes tweets daily attacks on hereditarians. Fuentes, quote, There is not a single biological element unique to any of the groups we call white, black, Asian, Latino, etc. There has never been a successful scientific way to justify any racial classification. End quote. Your task ahead is to counter the leftist narratives from people like Augustine Fuentes. Use the information, citations, statistics, images here to confront the race realism deniers. There are many platforms available for race realism advocacy. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Reddit. Let's make it happen. The first thing you can do is to pass this video on to as many people as possible, friend and foe. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your continued support. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, and we hope you watch our other videos. Thank you.